Phoenicians have a love-hate relationship with the sun. We live here for the great weather and the outdoors, and then we spend six months fleeing the heat. <laughs> now, the first thing you're going to want on that hot day in June is a tall drink of water, <laughs> or possibly a tall drink of water. The next thing is going to be some shade and probably some air conditioning. Phoenix has been called the least sustainable city on Earth. We have 8 million tons of air conditioning. That is enough to freeze a 700-foot block of ice or serve everyone on Earth nine cocktails every day. Most of our energy is used in our buildings, and most of that goes for three things, lighting, heating, and cooling. Why do we need to heat and cool the same building? It's because we live in a temperate zone. If you live in the Canadian Arctic, you don't need an air conditioner. And if you live in the Mexican tropics, you don't need a furnace. The reason for this is the angle of the sun in the sky, which is the relationship between the angle of the Earth's axis and the angle of the ecliptic. When the sun is high, it is hot. When the sun is low, it is cold. How can we take advantage of this? Well, people have been for hundreds of years. This photo was taken on winter solstice. It's Montezuma's Castle, about 90 miles north of here in Camp Verde, largely in the sun. Six months later, summer solstice, June 21st, and it's largely in shade. Now, I suppose that we could all find a south-facing cliff with an overhang and build our apartment there. <laughs> Or we can build our architecture this way. Here we have a room. It's a door and some windows. Could be in your house, could be in your business. The point is that we have 3D geometry that lends itself to this thing that needs shaded. We then add solar geometry. The path of the sun throughout the year can be represented by a conic section, which is then angled based upon the latitude of the building in question. When we add the geometry of the building to the solar geometry, put in a architectural element, in this case, curved awnings, we can have shade from the hour in the morning we want to the hour in the evening we want on the days of the year that we want. The orientation is very important as well. Here we have a southwest instead of a south-oriented room, and you can see that the awnings have taken on an angled shape, reflecting the normal east to west path of the sun. The goal of precision shade architecture is threefold, to maximize our natural light, maximize our summer shade, and maximize the winter sun. Let me show you a few examples. We have south <laughs> and west facing windows protected by awnings. In addition, the sign is strategically placed. So as the sun is setting below the west facing awning, it passes behind the sign, giving a couple extra hours of shade. How many parents have been to a playground? It's probably got a shade right over the middle of the top of it, but 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that steals 200 degrees. This shades for the entire day. We don't need to have shade for the entire day. Here we have a screen that just shades the bench in the evening when you might be wanting to sit outside after work. The point is that the structure, the solar geometry, and the item we want shaded are all connected. Let's bring everything together. Here we have a dining room with windows on three sides. The trellis design is open to allow the sunlight to land on the entryway and the patio, but not to hit the room itself. During the noon hours, the cantilevered gable end protects the south exposed window Keep in mind this is designed for November 1st, so that gable end is 11 feet long. As the afternoon carries on, the blocks of sunshine get, sunshine get narrower and narrower, disappearing as they touch the building. Then, just as the sun drops below the patio cover, it passes behind the strategically placed shade trees. Keeping cool does not mean we have to live in a cave. By using ancient knowledge and modern 3D design, we can stay cool, enjoy the sun, 
and build a more sustainable Phoenix. Thank you.